Hi everyone, uh, Fuzu Muhammad Sharf with you. Uh, today our main subject uh, is about uh, a vapor compression for air conditioning or refrigeration systems. Uh, uh, we, we, we did this uh, before, but uh, in, in this uh, model, uh, we, we, uh, our intention uh, should be towards R32 uh, with uh, a CUO nanofluid in order to enhance uh, the performance of uh, your system. First of all, open your MATLAB. Don't open the model from desktop, just open MATLAB. Go to your destination folder from here or copy the, the model path from here. Okay, so this is my working folder and this is my uh, uh, going to uh, my model from here. Uh, okay, Vibar Cooperation. Okay, and click. Okay, and then click here and uh, sort by name and group by type. This is very important. So uh, you will find your files uh, will organized here and be uh, ready. Uh, this is your uh, uh, properties of your R32. Okay, just double click or drag and drop here. Okay, because this is very important. And as you can see, this is satur saturation liquid uh, uh, file, and this is saturated vapor file, and this is superheat. Okay, so uh, you can create your equations or your uh, correlations related to superheat or or uh, liquid phase or even f uh, saturated vapor phase from here. Okay, and just clicking. Okay. This is your model, just drag and drop here, okay, uh, okay. Now we have a Weber cooperation cycle, we did this, uh, we did this before, it's uh, uh, about uh, air conditioning. So this is your model, set your simulation time to zero and uh, double clicking here, you will find your control panel. So by this, controlling this one, you can control your uh, main inputs, okay. And uh, as you can see, this is your evaporator uh, temperature, condenser temperature, refrigerant load. What is your refrigerant load based on your area? I think this table is uh, uh, quite clear for external zones or internal zones. This is your uh, ton refrigerant, uh, which you are going to use or utilize. Computer rooms, for example. Uh, bedroom, single room, uh, it's just a guide for you, simple guide, surely. Uh, you you can uh, connect your load for, uh, by the way, you can connect your load, actual load, by, by Excel sheet, if you have the load by Excel sheet or by external source, so you can connect it to your simulate model and uh, you can get your result uh, dynamically or automatically, okay. Uh, condenser air temperature, upper condenser, what is your condenser? Condenser air temperature, is a, I, I mean the, the cold air temperature, which is uh, responsible for cooling down your condenser. And uh, uh, for the room, or this is evaporator uh, uh, temperature, uh, I mean, uh, suppose I would like to cool down hot room temperature from uh, uh, 40 degrees Celsius, 35 degrees Celsius, it's up to you. Uh, suppose you are in summer, and this is your target temper temperature. I, I would like to cool down from 35 down to 16 or 17 or 20, it's up to you. And we have here a uh, nanofluid con uh, co concentration. Uh, this concentration is a percentage that should be added to the uh, oil or lubricant oil through the cycle in, in compressor or even in condenser unit in order to enhance your system performance. So you can uh, select your uh, choice from here. Okay, uh, is it 50%, 40%, 60%? It's up to you. And you can control uh, 
air duct uh, circular shape, evaporator diameter. I, I will keep this. It's, you can control this. You can even edit this if you would like. Uh, condenser tube diameter. A compressor eff uh, efficiency or effectiveness, condenser effectiveness, normally between these ran ranges. Uh, air fan efficiency, evaporator fan efficiency, about 75, something like this, 75.8. Okay, so we, we set our uh, main targets and now we can go inside. As you can see here, this is your cycle. So if you have the file, for example, this is um, uh, uh, HG, which means um, vapor enthalpy, a uh, saturated vapor enthalpy. Okay, this is saturated vapor line based on T, which is temperature, evaporator temperature. The, I'm just showing you an example. So if you double click here, you find this. This is uh, the behavior of your insulby uh, on your TS diagram saturated vapor okay so if you double click here you know, this is lookup table you will find your uh, table data which is uh, insulby and uh, and this is your uh, temperature so by controlling the temperature, you can get the enthalpy by interpolation, automatically interpolating. And um, uh, you can change this. If, if you have, for example, um, R22, so you can, if you have the Excel sheet of R22, you can copy temperature range, put it here in brick ones, and copy the enthalpy and put it here, so you, you will get your uh, uh, R22 but but you have to do this you have to do this for all all lookup tables uh, we have here fluid and uh, liquid and salby uh, latent heat the difference between uh, vapor and uh, and liquid which is uh, latent heat and we have here the same I, I, I need the pressure I need the uh, entropy I need the uh, insulby uh, because this is a compressor unit and this compressor unit uh, uh, hold or contain the code that represent uh, the uh, superheat uh, region if you double click here so you will find the correlation that uh, controlling this okay so you can uh, reform this uh, if you would like to reform the cycle to another working fluid and the same for condenser I need another lookup table here uh, saving and let's hit run and we'll see we need outlet in Salby uh, superheat temperature and uh, compressor power let's see okay uh, I, let's go down a little bit okay so based on this nano fluid okay this percentage which is 0.45 okay suppose i would like to increase it a little bit i would like to see if if any changes here in uh, in my power okay this one should be okay i'm sorry okay i'm from here okay never mind Okay, let's hit run again after controlling this. Let's hit, let's hit run and see if I. Okay, there's a slightly changes here. Let's see if I uh, drop it down. Okay, about one for example. Power, compressor power. Yes, compressor power increased if you. Uh, try to uh, 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 reduce the lubricant uh, uh, concentration so you will get um, uh, a slightly the increase in your power so therefore you have to uh, this is your COP, COP, okay so this is manually controlling your system suppose I would like to uh, control this um, automatically and, and compare my result and do some uh, uh, beautiful stuff okay let's this is your result 
condenser area and okay evaporator area okay and install the outlet for from the compressor H compressor out compressor out okay install B. Uh, condenser in okay and so on and a latent heat latent heat of evaporation and mass flow rate of your air okay and uh, you can self your result you can extract your result uh, based on many things here condenser the first uh, signal is your outlet cooling air temperature after cooling down your con condenser this is the outlet temperature air mass flow rate in kilogram per second condenser air velocity air fan power and uh, power thermal power of your condenser uh, about 54 and this is your condenser a okay and let's saving and close this one and uh, let's go for dynamic mode or uh, to run my model uh, dynamic so i prepared this one okay let's see close the old one okay in this one here in this one here okay uh, suppose i would like to control my system uh, uh, you can control this manually from here okay you can control it manually okay but i actually i uh, i uh, disconnect this one okay i disconnect this one by adding this a signal Okay, so my signal is coming from outside it's supposed to be here let me check okay just right click here on your model block model and go into the mask and edit icon uh, image and select this one and hit apply so this is I'm going to control my room temperature and the load uh, let me check here if the percentage here yes um, okay let let it be for example point one point one so hit apply if i if i intended to control this manually here so uh, it is not good to control it manually i would like to control uh, uh control it by my uh, uh you automatically by uh, I, I I just pretending that there is a signal and such, such signal is going to control or rectify itself okay so this is my reference temperature uh, which I, I, I have to uh, adapt okay I will adjust it at 16 degrees Celsius and let's go outside okay this is room temperature let's go here double clicking so I created this by myself if you have an Excel sheet or data from your um, uh, um, a specific case study you can uh, uh, adapt your data here and can control it and control the behavior of your suppose this is my load uh, going up and down it's uh, this is your room temperature varying along the day okay so suppose let's go up a little bit okay okay this is my room temperature okay you can add more by hold shift and click on the uh, so I added another one you can add more okay okay uh, or you can create a, a behavior let's see uh, the axis signal it change time range is okay this is along one day is from zero up to 23 hours and this is load suppose i have this load ton refrigerant i would increase the load decreasing the load by myself it's up to you uh, okay this is load varying this is just example you, you you can do it by yourself and we have many uh, videos about that saving set your simulation time the same as your signals click here and let's go it is from 0 to uh, 23 reducing the maximum step size hit ok and saving and hit up, hit up, run let's see go inside okay 
okay as you can see the system is uh, um, uh, changing based on your uh, load okay this is uh, my first run okay uh, don't forget to send your result to data inspector by clicking uh, your signal okay signal here and select this small square to visualize your signal here uh, this uh, already I already visualized all of this and this is uh, your first run based on uh, point one concentration let's go for another run with point eight and uh, let's see it apply and okay uh, let me check again i'm sorry okay point eight let's hit run again and see uh, so we can compare our runs uh based on 16 degrees so i can change the reference temperature i can let's see if we have here okay finished let's click here data inspector so uh, okay add more slots okay we have uh, run number four at point one okay let's see mass flow rate okay varying versus uh, uh, the load steam quality and evaporator power the same based on your uh, uh, behavior okay and uh, compressor power i would like to format this is from zero up to um, maybe 20. yes 10 is enough okay and uh, you can add mo more uh, condenser temperature air uh, mass flow rate and cop Okay, COP. And let's adjust this from zero up to uh, from 1.5, 1.5 to 1.8, 1.8. Okay, to 1. 1.1.88, for example. Okay, and uh, loading ton refrigerant uh, pressure remaining constant uh, condenser area uh, okay and so on so this is uh, I would like to inspect this compressor power at run number two let's see if we have compressor power okay so we have here let's uh, from zero up to uh, 10 okay this is your deviation between uh, using uh, the old one is 0.1 concentration and the next one is um, 0.8 so you can realize this is a slightly decrease in your uh, and this will reflect on the other uh, condenser area for example yes there is a slightly decrease in your uh, uh, power so um, this can conclude uh, the situation based on your uh, enhancement uh, or uh, enhancement of your system performance. So I think the COP, let's see our COP, where is my COP? I think this one should be, yes, surely, uh, 1.8. Okay, so as you can see, the COP has uh, remarkably increased okay as you can see here so the system cycle uh, in, uh, has been enhanced based on uh, using uh, CUO uh, lubricant uh, or nanofluids through the, your uh, lubricant uh, finally I would like to thank you very much for your interest in our model don't forget to like share and uh, subscribe in order to encourage us to present more and more uh, videos about uh, energy and uh, uh, renewable energies. Thank you very much.